What's going on guys? Big Tamo 110 here. And today, I want to show you guys a new ROM based on Android 11. And it's in beta form. So this ROM is called Yet Another AOSP Project. So far, I like it. There's some shortcomings, but we'll talk about them right now. So without further ado guys, let's just get into the ROM. As you can see, double tap to wake. It's not working here. You could tap on the screen and it's not gonna go to sleep, but double tap to wake on the lock screen when it's off, it's working. Fingerprint working real good too, no problems there. As you can see, it comes with a Google Now launcher on the left. It's nice and fluid, no problems whatsoever with that. And if we check the 90 frames per second and 90 hertz, everything's working great and we do have the option to check to 60 if you guys want to do that too so I'll show you guys in the settings in a little bit now if we take a look here at the home app we do have a custom launcher which is again their own launcher YAP which stands for yet another AOC project if we move on to the camera here is the pre-install camera which is not too bad but again there's a little bit of noise when you take pictures but it's better than not having anything so let's take a picture see how it looks quite a bit of noise but it's passable it's doable now let's take a look at the video. Let's check it out. Let's uh, record a short video here. Let's see how it looks. All right, let's see the playback. I think video is much better. There you go. We go to display here. We have the usual, but some of the settings are missing because they're buried somewhere else. And I'll show you what I mean in a little bit. We go to security here. We only have the fingerprints and screen lock and smart lock. No face unlock, guys. Let's go to the OnePlus settings. Here we have the DC dimming, high brightness mode, and here's where we get all the panel modes. As you can see, we got the RGB mode, night mode, white color mode, and that's all the ones we have. Here we could choose if you want to do the 90 frames per seconds, whether you want 60 or 90, this is where you would choose that. And here we have the notifications lighter options and one thing that I like we have a vibrator strength so you could just choose whatever you like as we can see it's running Android 11 it has the latest October 5th 2020 and yeah we're running Android 11 guys but this is what the ROM has as a special options here not much but it's still in beta guys so as you can see under status bar we do have the icons so we could take these icons that we don't want and just remove them we go back we go to quick settings we do have the brightness bar setting and we also have a navigation bar here but if we go to gestures here we have all these gestures like the screen off to power the torch we do have the lock screen, charging info to turn on and off, and the notifications turn on and off. And that's it, guys. It's not a lot of settings here, but one setting that I want to show you guys, go to system, under gestures, you go to system uh, navigation, and here's where you choose what uh, navigation options you want. It's kind of hidden, but that's why I wanted to show you guys where it's at. 
Now, one thing to know, guys, is that if you install the ROM, you must install Magisk when you install the ROM. Otherwise, you're going to be like me and everything's going to fail. Safety Net is going to fail. And not only is Safety Net going to fail for Google Pay, but it's also going to fail for other stuff like some of the games I like, like uh, Pokemon Go. They, they do not want to work without, without Safety Net passing. And even some of my restaurant apps that I go to didn't want to work. So you don't want to look like a fool like me standing in the counter. But other than that, guys, some of the games do work pretty good. Like this one here. Now, when it came to cloud gaming, uh, I tried Stadia, but for whatever reason, it was acting really strange. Like, I was getting connection problems, and I was getting uh, no controller found. Even when I was trying to connect the controller with the code, it wasn't just doing anything. So I just decided to give up. So cloud gaming is not working so great. But as you can see, statically, it does look almost the same as under 10, except for some minor changes. Like you see right here, the notifications, they are all separate now. And uh, another thing that I found out was that the NFC is not, I say the button's not working, but if you long press it and go into the settings, you will find that it says that it's on. Now, I didn't get a chance to test it out. So don't quote me on that guys, but I know that a lot of Android 11 ROMs have a problem with NFC. But having said that, guys, I think maybe we should wait till there's more updates. I mean, the ROM's in beta, but if you're curious about it, go ahead and install it. If not, guys, thank you so much for everything. Thank you for all the subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It'll help me out a lot. And uh, guys, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.